I'm C. Brown. I'm the uh, research and extension field crop entomologist for the state of Louisiana. I work uh, cotton, corn, grain, sorghum, uh, soybeans, rice, pastures, and peanuts. So uh, I pretty much cover everything but sweet potatoes and sugar cane. So, uh, and I'm dociled at the Dean Lee Research and Extension Center here in Alexandria, Louisiana. And uh, it's July 1st of 2021, and I'm going to talk to you all today about why uh, weed control is important for insect control, especially when it comes to cotton. And so uh, if you can kind of see, I'm standing in my, in Dr. Daniel Stevenson's weed scientists or weed science plots. And so, which are overgrown with pigweed. And so believe it or not, there's actually cotton out here somewhere. And so, but what's also here that feeds on both pigweeds and cotton is plant bugs. And so plant bugs absolutely love pigweed. And so that's something we see across the state, whether it's in central Louisiana, northeast Louisiana, northwest. If you've got pigweed plants or pigweed escapes in a field, you're going to have plant bug numbers that are going to just localize around that. And so, you know, controlling these things, I know it can be very difficult. I'm not a weed scientist, but I listen to Dr. Stevenson enough to know that this is one of the hardest, you know, hardest weeds that we control in Louisiana. And so... You know, getting a handle on these so your fields don't look like this or even remotely close to this, you know, is going to go a long ways in helping control tarnished plant bug. Because tarnished plant bug, as you can see, these pigweed are flowering. There's they're there's they're uh, shedding lots of pollen, and so the pigweeds are actually, or excuse me, the plant bugs are actually crawling around up and down this inflorescence here, and so they're feeding on different parts of the pigweed. So, you know, it's. Um, it really goes as an IPM tenant to help control weeds, you're gonna help control insects. And this is a very, uh, it's a very beneficial way to keep one of the most, probably the number one weed pest we have in Louisiana controlled in cotton, while also helping control the number one insect pest that we have in cotton as well. And so, uh, you know, tarnished plant bugs are definitely one of the one of the harder ones we have to control. We have very limited options of what we have. Uh, typically what I recommend during the year is gonna be transform. Uh, you know, you've got some Bidrin as an option, Acephate as an option. You've got Neonix like Centric, although they don't work quite as well. So the three that work, you know, really well, Transform is going to be our big one. That's an adulticide and a, and a, 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 a nymphocide or larvicide. Uh, Bidrin is the same thing. Uh, it's going to kill both adults and immatures, and so is Acephate. Where what's good on just immatures is going to be Diamond. And so typically... At this stage of the game, to, or where we are in this cotton, it's not quite at bloom yet, but you've got some match head squares out here. You know, you're going to want to start protecting these at about the third week of squaring. And then, you know, make sure your square retention stays any, above 75 to really 90%. Um, you know, that's going to be where we are, uh, what we recommend with LSU Ag Center. And then as you get closer to bloom, third week of squaring, first week of bloom, that's when you can incorporate your diamond application to help control some of these immature plant bugs that may be migrating off of pigweed. And so, uh, you know, that's really kind of using that, that approach where we rotate chemistries. And so you rotate your diamond shot every other application. So you don't have to necessarily put diamond back to back to back. You're not going to see the benefit. Diamond is one of those where if you put it the first week of squaring or third week of bloom, you know, let's say it gives you seven days of control. You skip that you, that next application let's say you use uh acephate you don't add your diamond and then after that application if you need one then you go ahead and re-add your diamond back into it so you know we rotate modes of action we also stagger some of our chemistries it gives us the best overlapping of residual uh, when it comes to control of plant bugs and so uh you know and this goes also to controlling if you can control pigweeds on your your roadsides and your ditches as well it doesn't have to be in your field because plant bugs are extremely mobile and so Outside of moving out of pigweeds, they're going to come out of corn. They're going to come out of soybeans, and so they're going to come out of adjacent cotton as well if they're not if if it's not being controlled. So, you know, these insects, I said they're strong flyers, and they can colonize the field very quickly, especially on the edges. And so, if you can control some of the pigweed on the edges and the ditch banks, you know, and all it would take would be mowing it. If you can just mow it down where it doesn't have the where it doesn't have the flowering components that these plant bugs are after, then uh, that's going to go a long ways in helping retard some of your uh, your insect flights in and out of the field. 
Uh, you know, something else to watch out for, we're at this stage, we're, we're behind in our cotton growth you know, for our planting with, with what Louisiana's experienced in March and April with the extremely wet winter, or excuse me, wet spring, that delayed everything, including cotton. And so a lot of our cotton acres were pushed back very late. And so typically at this stage of the game, I'm gonna be very, I'm gonna be on alert for cotton growers to start watching out for, uh, for bollworm flights and so for start to scouting for egg lay so but the vast majority of our cotton in louisiana is still squaring uh not many fields have blooms on it and so uh, we may escape intense bollworm pressure for you know for a few weeks but they're going to be in the environment and that's going to be something even though we're a little delayed we're still going to probably face bollworms as well and so that's going to be something that uh that's also our second biggest one that we fight in louisiana outside of plant bugs is going to be the cotton bollworm and so um, uh, with that, I'll, uh, I don't, I'm here at the Dean Lee Research Station. Like I said, you know, this, this is y'all's research station. So if you ever want to come see any of my plots or any of the research that we do, please feel free to contact me and I'll take you through uh, whatever I've got. And uh, if it interests you or we'll put you in contact with anybody here on the station so you can see what we've got going on. Thanks.